one list of Ocean TV's top five most played videos for the week. At number one, we have Kiddy with the song Odor. At number two, Becca featuring Bisa K Day with the song Besho. At number three, we had Edem featuring Aquaba with the song Zero to Hero. Jay Gate came in at number four with his song Medal featuring Ochame Kwame. And at number five, we have Bisa K Day with his song Sister Girl. I have a very pleasant guest on Celebrity Profiling for this week's Oceans Entertainment Box and he's none other but the only musician in Ghana who is also a doctor. Baby, take good care of yourself for me, okay? So I gave you a hint to my guest on the celebrity profiling is for this week and is none other than the one and only Hello Nilante. Yes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Oceans Entertainment thank you, thank Box. You. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so tell me how it's been going for you musically in most recent times. Oh well, um yeah, I, I think it's it's quite 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 cool. Um we're working on various aspects of the music, production of new songs, you know, getting videos done, rolling out the songs, trying to market, and you know, playing some some live live sec on the live circuit as well. Okay, mm. so you have a new song titled "Open Mic." Yes. Yes. So tell me about Open Mic. Well, Open Mic um, is is a is a song we just put out about four days ago. It's basically a high life song with a tinge or a touch of dance hall culture let me put it that way where you have some dance hall breaks in the music as well as um, um, uh, my <laughs> my impressions or my version of patois okay. <laughs> you know imperfect patois let me put it that way um, so you have you have we have both cultures sort of being represented in the song. And to make it worse, or to make it better, <laughs> we, we, we threw in Floki and Stone, who also brought on rap, you okay, know, let's, exactly. Let's just say so, to make it better. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So now we have a bad mix of high life, Patois, dance hall, yeah, dance you know, hall, dance yeah. hall, and Floking then Floki and Stone's Stone thing, yeah. you know, it's, it's just a mashup, you know, wicked, you know. So basically that's it. And um that things to remember about the song, there's a trumpet solo and, and, and various interesting things as well. Okay. So aside open mic, are you working on other songs? Yes, I am. Um, working as in, we're still pushing you, you know, and, and there's a demand for it. Yeah, you was before. Open yes, mic. with Felinuna. And there's a, there's a demand for it, so we're performing it live now. We have various aspects, so of various versions of it, and we, we're promoting it heavily. There are also other songs which we're working on, um, especially pop songs, to, to sort of um, be ready for the release of the EP, okay. of an EP we want to release very soon. Okay, so you're working on an EP, which yeah. has how many songs on it? Um, they have about, it will have about eight songs on it, eight songs. The songs are um, pop-oriented songs, okay. so we have... Afro pop, we have reggae pop, we have pop pop, and the, all kinds of things, you know. But so it's 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 mean that the the songs are mainly um, targeted at, at at the popular culture or popular music listener. You okay. Know, that kind of so that is to say that you have probably a number of different genres yes. on the song, yes. but they all have a pop feel yes. or touch. Yes touch yes, to it. Yes, yes, okay. it, um, yes. Yes, yes, that is the case, but uh, I'd say it will be more biased in, in, in favor of Afro okay. and uh, Afro pop. Okay. Yes. Uh, but why that decision? Well, um, uh, um, it's multi, multi, multifactorial. Um, first of all, the fans have been asking for it for a very long time. You know, I used to do um, pop when I started way back. I used to sing songs like Lagos to Vienna, When You Love Someone, we recorded When You Love Someone, um, Bono and things like that. And then a lot of the fans keep asking whenever we go to play or whenever I ask on, on my 
fan pages that look what song do you want me to perform for this next concert and uh, there's a demand for the pop songs as well so that was there and we also had uh, a huge demand also to collaborate with a lot of uh, to collaborate with Ghanaian artists because I've been doing songs with Queen Africa you know General Ozzy all these people are not um, in Ghana you know so um, to be able to satisfy that demand I had to look back home and um, looking back back home I mean most of the names that are big now in Ghana are doing pop so you would naturally gravitate towards that but I've done a few collaborations also with um, Ghanaian artists who are doing reggae as well I've done um, a song with Osajifu um, uh, the same song with John Q so we're, we're working along various you know, still. Now, on the topic of reggae, yeah. do you think that reggae and dancehall have been misinterpreted in Ghana? Because then, most of the time, we seem to just not be able to tell the difference. Mm. I'm trying to find a right way to put it, mm -hmm. but we are most of the time unable to find like the difference between reggae mm. and dancehall. Mm. We just tend to mix it up. Yeah, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. It's, it's it's a valid observation. I mean, we see it all the time, even with our award schemes. Sometimes you see, um, so the next category is reggae dance hall, you know, and sometimes that makes things very complex, because yes, dance hall came out of reggae, but they are different entities, you know. It's just like the relationship between slave music, jazz, blues, and um, black American gospel music. You can't lump all of them together and say this is a blues gospel awards. No, it's not possible. You know, they, you can't mix up the father with the son. They, they, are, they, are, they are different entities. And um, whereas dance hall, like, um, like they say, is, 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 is more light-hearted music. Um, and even the word even suggests, I mean, the, the name suggests that it's, it's music for the dance halls. You know, you go have fun, you're dancing. And so, you know, it's, it's light-hearted. The topics are not really that deep. That, that deep. You know, you're not, you, you don't want to think too much in the dance hall. You just want to have, have fun, fun and twerk. <laughs> those who do whatever they do, do, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's light, light, lighter music, more dance-oriented, you know, and, and doesn't usually address any political or social issues. Reggae music, on the other hand, is usually slower, you know, and is not usually meant for you to dance and lose your head. You know what I mean? Reggae music it, even, even when you're you dancing to it, you're, you're, you know, like you're, you know, you're yeah. just swaying. swaying. You're, exactly. But keeping your mind on what, what lyrics are being sung, you know, um, it's mainly more conscious, you know. It's, it's, it, in reggae music, we address a lot of issues, political, social, you know, love and in a way that makes you want to sit down and listen rather than, you yeah. know, yeah, exactly. So they are definitely different, yeah, hey, forgotten, and religious also. Reggae music has a lot of religious input. I mean, from Rastafarians, from Christians, from Muslims, you know, reggae music is, is an avenue through which a lot of people spread, spread exactly, spread their, their religion, you know. So reggae and dance are like completely different entities. You know, so when you begin to lump them up, then there's a huge problem. And now with dancehall, Seth, you know, dancehall now is spreading into, into <laughs> different it, branches. I mean, it, it's, it's becoming. Someone says they are dancehall acts. Exactly. You listen to that song and you're like, it's jammer. <laughs> you know, but okay. Yeah, man. You okay. know, so now it's it's making everything more complex. You know, so if you lump the whole thing together, then. You know, that, that's, that, yeah, exactly. You know, so I, I don't think it's fair when you have a reggae dance hall category. No, I think you should, you should keep it, you it should keep them distinct. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is a reggae, reggae artist or this is a reggae song and this is a dance hall song, you know. But I mean, music is music. So you can have reggae artists recording dance hall. You can have dance hall artists recording Probably. reggae. But there's still a difference. Exactly. But when that's it comes to distinguishing between the songs you know that that distinct that distinction must be clear must be clear thank you so much for touching on that i mean you said it in the best way possible and so, yes thanks. 
Yeah. And yeah, thanks yeah. for coming by the show. But before I let you go, let us know your social media handles. Um, it's 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 Nilante actually, but the it's, it's spelled a little funny. Yeah, exactly. K N I I L A N T E. Is K N I I L E N T E, and that cuts across, across. all social exactly. media. Exactly. Okay. So thank you for coming, thank you, Doctor. Too. Thank you. Thank Nilante. you very much. Too. It was a pleasure having you thank in you. the studios, thank you. and I'll see you again. By all means. Yeah. Sure. Definitely. <laughs> was great having a conversation with Doctor Nilante on celebrity profiling for this week. So moving on into entertainment news, I'm starting from Ghana and I'm talking about Sarkodie. Now Sarkodie says that the challenging times that he had was when Tracy gave birth. Quoting Sarkodie, he says, so my daughter came and the first two weeks or one month, I am not supposed to touch her. Referring to Tracy, you're not supposed to do anything. That was like the hardest time. You can hold her, but you don't have to let it lead to the main thing, the sex. So you need to take a break, which is like very, very hard. He continued to say that what I was doing was trying to take my mind off it and trying to do things that can make me focus on something else. So my daughter came and the first, I think, I don't know if, if uh, it's the first two weeks or a month, I'm not supposed to touch her. You know, you're not supposed to do anything. And that was like the hardest time. Well, you're not meant to hold her or... You can't, but you don't have to lead it to the main thing understand and you need to take a break which is like very very hard so literally what I was doing was trying to take my mind off it and trying to do things that can just make me focus on something else but then this girl keeps coming into the room to pick stuff wearing some stuff that is so hard to stay back Mr. Easy is the only Ghanaian entertainer to have made a donation to Peter who lost both of his legs. Now, Mr. Easy paid an amount of 10,000 Ghana CDs out of the total of 40,000 Ghana CDs the boy needs to foot his medical bills. Nigerian entertainment personality Toke Makinwa is set to be dating an older man to foot her bills. Now, Toke Makinwa has been bashed by Nigerian Twitter. Now, a fan on Twitter said that Nigerians aren't bashing Tokestar right now because of the rumors. They are bashing her because she's doing so well for herself. Pure jealousy. Now, Toke Makinwa came out to respond to the tweet and said the week i'm about to launch the devil decides to try me lost a phone missed my flight lost my sunglasses but i'm gone shine what awaits in the year my empowerment branch with 50 selected candidates is taking place now talking makinwa is also set to release her bag line very very soon Nigerian comedian AY and his wife Mabel celebrated their ninth wedding anniversary. Now they both took to Instagram to express their love for each other. Starting off with AY's post, he says it's been 15 years from boyfriend and girlfriend through good the bad and the ugly through rain and sunshine through all the seasons of life that we have endured each other with love i thank god that we have had each other to face it all as husband and wife for the decade that is only next door god searched the world over and found you just for me and he has blessed us through another awesome year happy anniversary midas interiors my love his wife also put up and said nine years of marriage and 15 years of staying strong together through the good and the bad times may our love continue to flourish and blossom thank you for being my husband and lover love you always happy wedding anniversary to us ay comedian Chris Jenner has dropped $9.9 .9 million on a Beverly Hills house. The 9,400 square foot house has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a pool, and a 10 person spa. Now, good thing about this is it's just across from Kim and Kanye's house. Talking about owning property, Simon Cowell has also dropped $25 million on a house in Malibu. Now, Simon Cowell's house is a 10,000 square foot house with a swimming pool, seven bedrooms, as well as a tennis court and an ocean view. That ends the entertainment news segment for this week. Now, moving around.